Hi, well welcome to video number six of the 2012 Simply Healthy Jumpstart. My name is Elaine and I'm with Simply Healthy. Well today as promised we're going to talk about the number one ingredient missing in most American diets. And I mean diet with quotations around it. This is a diet that you go on for a particular period of time. Something where you're giving a list of the things to eat and not eat. That ingredient is fat. F-A-T. That three letter word. And we've been told that low fat diets are better because fat clogs our pores and causes us to gain weight. Well that's not totally true. It really depends on the type of fat that we're eating. A low fat diet in the long run will not be sustainable for your body. And here's why. Our body is made up of three macronutrients. These are the big guys that are necessary. Carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Those three in combination make up our entire body. We need about 20 to 30 percent of our daily caloric intake to come from fat. And you can get that in a variety of ways. But here is why we need fat in our diet. Number one, they aid in nutrient absorption. So adding fat helps you to get more from the foods that you're eating. If you add fat to carbohydrates, your vegetables, it's going to help your blood vessels to stay open and for the blood to flow through freely. So adding veggie, veggies and fat together is a good combination. Number two, fats provide insulation for the body. Our cells are coated in fat. Actually our skin is a huge membrane which is coat which is actually fat. Okay, so if you think about it, what you see on me is fat. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? So it's necessary. Number three, fats are necessary for optimal brain function. A good portion of our brain is made up of fatty acids. So this is necessary to regulate our brain function, uh, our mood, how we think, our thoughts. So fats are definitely necessary for how your brain works. Number four, fats trigger an enzymatic reaction that satisfies hunger. So when you eat a fat with your, your meal, it helps to make you feel like you've eaten something. Okay, it satisfies that hunger feeling. Number five, and probably most important, fats make food taste better. And I think we all know that, that when you add a little bit of fat to something, it just gives a little extra something, something. So let's talk about the different types of fats that are what we call the healthy fats. One of them is avocado. Avocados are not just for guacamole. Even though guacamole is very, it's good for you, you can also eat avocados by themselves. You can add it to salads. You can add them to smoothies. Avocados have a lot of omega-3s in them and antioxidants, which are very good for our body. Another good source are nuts, specifically walnuts. Walnuts have the highest source of omega-3s of all nuts. Adding nuts to um, salads, you can add it to your veggies, you can eat them raw, eat them with some fruit but nuts are key for getting your healthy fat intake. Then we have extra virgin olive oil. We all know about EVOO. This is great for adding, for making dressings, for doing quick sautés. If you want to do something like frying or roasting or stir frying, you want to use regular olive oil or light olive oil, not the extra virgin. That has a higher heat point, so it takes the higher heat better. Okay, so extra virgin olive oil or olive oil period is, is excellent. A lot of us could benefit from an omega-3 supplement, a fish oil supplement. And you want to be careful about the quality of your omega-3 supplement. Generally, the higher it costs, the better it's going to be for you. But you want to make sure that it's made from fish that is wild caught, not fish that is farm raised. That makes a huge difference. So you want to get a quality omega-3 supplement and keep it refrigerated. Last but not least is coconut oil. And coconut oil is kind of new to me. I haven't used, hadn't used coconut oil before the last year or so. 
anything coconut actually is going to be very good for us. Coconut oil is unique among the healthy fats in that it is a medium chain fatty acid. Most of the other cooking oils that we use are long chain fatty acids. Long chain fatty acids are harder for our bodies to digest, which means a lot of it is what becomes fat molecules in our bodies. Coconut oil is digested immediately. It goes straight to our liver, which then becomes energy. So instead of becoming a saturated fat that clogs our pores and becomes fat molecules and cells, it actually adds energy to our system. Coconut oil is great for high cooking, high heat cooking, so you can fry with coconut oil, you can roast, you can saute, you can stir fry with it, um, you can eat it on its own. I add coconut oil to my smoothies in the morning. It just helps to add to that nutritional value, but it also makes me feel um, more satisfied. So there's a ton of ways to use coconut oil, but most importantly, start using it in some way because it's one of those very unique but very good for us oils. Not only is it going to help you from the inside out, but it's great for your skin to make your skin more supple and um, healthy. So there you have it. There's actually a way to include fat in your diet and for your food to taste even better. No longer do you have to have a low fat diet. So I hope you've learned something in the past six videos. And not only learned something, but I've been able to put some things in action. Because that's the key. We can know a whole lot of stuff, but if we're not implementing it, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. Speed of implementation is key. So think about what can you do today to put some of these things into practice. The more you do little things, the bigger results you will get. If you have any questions, please call, contact me at elaine at simply-healthy.com. Also, I'd love to offer you a free consultation where we can sit down in person or over the phone and discuss your personal health situation for 30 minutes. So give me a, give me a holler. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.